We have a duty to support our students and a responsibility to support every student that wishes to pursue higher education, regardless of their income or their zip code. But how we can show our commitment to the leaders of tomorrow if we do not adequately fund those efforts? Our economy demands a more highly educated and skilled citizenry for our, work corps, our workforce. We see that states that invest in higher education have a competitive advantage. Maintaining a strong higher education system and increasing the number of graduates will ensure Michigan residents are prepared for the jobs of the future. Michigan is already facing a shortage of skilled workers. And if we continue to drastically underfund higher education, that skill gap will continue to grow. The solution should begin right here in this chamber. But instead, this budget continues the ongoing raid on the school aid fund, while also refusing to increase funding at a pace that keeps up with inflation. This means that our students are being hit twice. First, in their K-12 education by shortchanging them with a lack of funding. And then again, when they have to take out massive student loan debt just to pursue the training they need in order to get the job that they want. Our students deserve better, and we are capable of doing better in this budget. So the fact that we are voting on what we see before us today is nothing short of a failure. So I urge my colleagues to join me in voting no on this bill that robs our universities, but more importantly robs our students of an opportunity to succeed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.